Hello YouTube. As many of you already probably know, Apple today held an event to announce the iPhone 5S and the iPhone 5C. That just went on over the last couple of hours and they announced pretty much everything everyone was expecting them to. In this video I'm going to be showing you all the new features that they announced for the two devices and just going over the features and specs of each and how they compared to the rumors that we saw. Let's get started. Apple announced that they're going to have three different colors for the iPhone 5S. There's going to be gold, there's going to be a color called slate, and there's going to be a color called silver. Silver will essentially be what the white iPhone 5 was. Um, slate is going to be similar to the iPhone 5 black, but with a slightly more silver backing to it. And the gold will be what you saw in some of our videos. Basically white glass with a gold alum anodized aluminum backing. So those are the three ones that Apple will offer. For the iPhone 5C, they offered several more colors. There's going to be all of them plastic. There's going to be white, red, yellow, blue, and green. So those are the colors that everyone was pretty much expecting. You saw the white iPhone 5C backing on our channel. But that's basically the different colorings that are going to be available for the iPhone 5C. And in terms of features, the iPhone 5C is essentially an iPhone 5 with different new sort of casing to it. It has most of the same uh, specs, so it has an A6 processor, 8 megapixel camera, and it's going to be downgraded just like the iPhones usually are. It's going to be available for $99 on contract for the 16 gigabyte version or $199 on contract for the 32 gigabyte version. So it's essentially the iPhone 5 but repackaged to give it a nicer look and also the plastic casing should be a little bit more sturdy than the glass and aluminum or at least less prone to those bright scratches that some people were experiencing. One of the biggest things people were excited about for the iPhone 5S, the fingerprint sensor, was announced just as expected by Apple. It's called Touch ID and essentially what it is is it enables your fingerprint as a security device for your iPhone. In addition to be able to being able to unlock your iPhone with a touch of the home button, you can also approve purchases for apps, iBooks, basically anything you would sort of need a password for or a passcode, it's replaced with your fingerprint. You can have as many fingerprints as you want to authorize multiple people to use a device or to be able to do it with any other fingers and it can be used at any orientation just by tapping the home button with your finger. I personally think that's going to be one of the coolest features of the iPhone 5S because it's just fairly new and it's something that we haven't seen on any iPhone in any capacity before. So I think it'll be pretty interesting to see how well Apple implements it when this device finally gets released. The next generation of processor is also present on the iPhone 5S. It's the A7 chip and it features a bunch of new features and upgrades. For one, it's the first 64-bit processor on any smartphone in the world. So Apple is very proud about that fact and it'll leave a lot of capacity for future upgrades of this device. Apple has also made a lot of speed improvements with this chip. It's claimed to be two times faster in both CPU speed and GPU speed over the iPhone 5, so that's definitely something that's going to be exciting. In addition to the A7 chip, Apple also announced this new M7 coprocessor, which they're calling the Motion Coprocessor for the A7. Before, if apps wanted to use the accelerometer or gyroscope or compass, they would have to tap, tap directly into the A7 and it would potentially drain battery if it was a pedometer app or something that was using the accelerometer a lot over and over. But now this new M7 chip will continually be monitoring the motion data coming from the different accelerometer, gyroscope, compass on the device. And so apps that use those continually, and Apple's already worked with Nike to develop an app that uses the M7 coprocessor, will actually use a lot less battery life and it will be a much smoother experience. The camera is another area of the iPhone 5S that has received a lot of upgrades. The camera now is able to take even higher resolution photos with a better sensor, larger aperture, lots of things that just make it a much better camera. You can also get 10 photos taken per second and then go back and choose which one captured the moment you want perfectly. So it'll be able, if you take a lot of photos with your iPhone but can never quite get the right shot or you take action shots, this will make it a lot easier to actually get the picture that you want. The flash has also been updated with two different colors, one sort of more yellow and one white, so that based on the lighting in the current situation, the iPhone will actually be able to sort of match the lighting in the room and give you a better color so that you don't get as washed out by just a pure white LED flash.
The iPhone camera also has auto image stabilization, so if you're shaking your hand around, it'll try to take a much more stable picture than it could if it was on the iPhone 5 and it got all blurry. There's also a new high speed mode to the video, and you can also zoom while you're taking video. What that means is that you can shoot at about 120 frames a second, and then go back and slow that down to a normal watching pace, so that you can actually get slow motion videos uh, on the iPhone 5S. Finally, Apple also announced a new case for the iPhone 5S, which is made out of leather and comes in a variety of colors, yellow, sort of a white, pinkish color, blue, brown, black, and of course red. So that's basically it for the new features of the iPhone 5S. You can see here the comparison of the leaked casings as well as what was actually released. But that's all we have for now. Thank you for watching and be sure to subscribe if you want to see any more updates on these devices. We will be showing off both of them in the near future. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching and please subscribe. If you want to order these devices, you can get them starting on September 20th. So be sure to check back then and mark that date on your calendar if these are items that you want to buy.